What's up dudes, it's Chad here, Barry Big Bums Fishing. It's just past five in the morning. I'm just on my way now to Diva Springs in Hampshire. I've got about a two and a quarter hour drive. I've got my eight pound fluorocarbon and I'm up in my fluorocarbon today. I normally fish with 6.6, .6, mainly because the fish are quite big there and I'm also gonna be fishing on a seven weight rod rather than a five weight rod. So I'm gonna uh, up the strength of my fluorocarbon. Last thing you want is to strike into a fish and uh, break them off. So. I'm gonna go get some petrol, pick up some breakfast, and uh, do the two hour and 20 drive to Diva, and I'll see you there. Right, here we go, nice crisp morning. First thing to do is take a slow walk around the fishery. Look at that steam coming off the water. The uh, water is absolutely gin clear here, guys. This Sage Igniter has got enough power probably get out in the middle of that lake I'm using a Rio gold line which is not a great line for lures or heavy tungstens but it's very balanced lots of weed growth here all around the edges normally the big browns around this area that's the one thing that eludes me is a big brownie I'm going to come back here when the light picks up and try Spring Lake. See if anyone's actually patrolling it at the moment. There's a stocking area over here, look. Loads of fish. I'm hoping there's no one on here, but very rarely that's the case. This is such a lovely little stalking on Spring Lake. Got my daddy long legs on. Oh, amazing, there's no one here. Quick, quick, quick. Right, no one's here. I mean, no one's disturbed it. This is perfect. If I'm gonna see a big fish, this is the time I'm gonna see him because no one else has disturbed this water. I've got my sunglasses on. And my baseball cap to block the light. That water is gin clear, guys. Gin clear. Well, I've missed the chance of that one. Mm. Ah, you fucking prick. Ow! You saw that, didn't you? Right in my finger. Ah, pulled out with a barb. Ow, that hurt. Lesson there, guys, that's revenge from the fish. Barb, right to the bone. Ooh. Ouch. Just see how this love worm performs. Ooh. There we go, stalked. And of course I see a bigger one. That's the one I want over there. I was right in the bleeding. There we go guys. Oh, he's wrapped in the uh he's wrapped in the wire. Wrapped in the net. He's wrapped in the net, that's time to, to net him. There we go, that's about a five pound fish, I'd say. There we go, take advantage. It's a nice long fish. Oh, that's about five pound, I'd say. Nice and easy. A lovely bloody big fish there. What about 
like a dams or I can I can actually just figure of eight it rather than tweaking it. I'm dams or guys. That's a big fish. That's one of the big ones. And he's got loads of weed on him. Oh come on. No 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 no. No 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 no. Right, I'm gonna follow this fish I think. <clears throat> mate he's going right um <laughs> don't mean that's quite a 10 it's definitely a chunky fish oh, hello that's going nicely that's kiting off oh i can see him right in the middle of the lake there guys whoa steam train that is a steam train and a half right there right there Oh yeah. Right, let's go check this is recording. Yep, because I've missed loads of big fish by not recording. Oh, I've got so much weed on my line. Wonder how big that is. It's definitely bigger than what I've had so far. So I'm not gonna put oh mate. <laughs> That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Just putting a bit of pressure on the spool of my palm. <laughs> Why did you come to Diva Springs, chat? Well, they've got some big fish there and they fight quite well. Mate, he is not. God. Come on. I need to get some line back in. <laughs> oh, mate. Right, let's get this rod down. Oh, I'll be interested how big this one is very interested there's no way i'm going to net him just yet i wouldn't have thought this is definitely hey <laughs> that was awesome man i just crept around he was cruising along put my dams in front of him and he just cruised towards it and add it look at him go that is mental. Come on. Oh, things you never know how much pressure to put on these fish. Because if you put too much on, you can ping that hook. You never know how well the fish is hooked. I reckon that's a, a seven or an eight, guys. But I am gonna go and weigh it straight away. If I land him. I've jinxed my video so many times now by saying, oh, I've got him in the net, but you ain't. Okay, come on, come on. Right, he's wrapped in a the line. There he is, right in his jaw, I can see it. I can see the fish, uh, see the, the stalking bug. That's a big old, that's a chunky trout, look at him. Oh, yeah baby. Come on, towards the net. Come to Chaddy, come to Chaddy. That's some beautiful colours. I don't know how to shorter line really. Got him, oh. Actually, guys, that's a double. That is definitely a double. Look at him. Woohoo! Yes. Mofo, done it. That is massive. Absolutely massive. Wow, let's have a proper look at him in a sec. Woo! Right, for me, this is the best time at Diva Springs. They've just rung the breakfast bell. So all the other anglers, that's a nice fish, have gone in for breakfast, which means I can have a little stalkies around the lake. And uh, the water is so gin clear, I've seen more big fish today. <laughs> you know, this, I'm going to give that swan a wide berth. I don't want to stress you out, mate. I'm only coming by, don't worry. But uh, yeah, that was 13 pounds, four ounces. It was kind of in between four, five and six, four, five, six, somewhere around there, but well over 13 pound. I must say guys, decent pair of sunglasses, like Costa glasses, mean you can actually see your fish. I couldn't believe how big that fish was. I, went, I thought it was about eight pound. 
See, this is all where you might see big fish cruising. All this stuff. Yeah. Up in that corner is where I want to go. So I got this on the plain damsel stalker from Martin Williams. Oh, there's nothing like it when you hook into a big one, you just see them shake their head. You realise just how big they are and they go, I mean, that fish, that really gave an account of itself. It's steam trained off. That's very exciting stuff, guys. My heart was going quick. The old adrenaline kicked in. It's just so bloody scared you're going to throw the hook. I know some people bully big fish in, but for me, that might be the only chance I had at a big fish today. But these are beautiful stalking conditions. Just gonna so walk out. There's a couple of fish over there, nothing massive. But oh no, it's not as big as I thought. You kind of just see a big fish, they swim differently, they kind of cruise. Now, I know people whinge about the big fish tray, but nothing quite gets your adrenaline going by looking into a fish that size. Oh, that's a nice one there. Okay. Oi. Oh, Doesn't seem to like that pattern at all. <laughs> no, it doesn't seem to like that pattern in the slightest. fish Just dangled it in front of him and he had it little when all those fails go on mate it's a nice one Go, oh, hello, hello. Go away from the weeds, away from the weeds. Went to this seven weight nicely. Use loads of big flies, put when all else fails on, and he had it. Fish are fighting really well today. Not massive, but nice size. Very nice size. So chance it. It's a nice fish. Oh, I missed him. Oh, knob. Completely balls that up. Oh, jeez Louise, he's going, he's going. Right on his bottom lip, just nipped at that. He's not hooked that well. So, let's just get him. He's in. Oh, I don't know. It's a good six, I reckon. Nice. 
Very nice. I'm gonna give him six. I reckon he got six. Maybe seven on a good day. Let's go to the scales. Oh, mate. I think it's time I'm gonna swap to my five weight Orvis and have a bite to eat. Because I am Hank Marvin and very thirsty actually. Right, here we go. Put him there. Balance my rod up there. Careful of my rod. So I reckon he goes six. That's on when all else fails, guys. Always got some nice fish there. Bloody hell, I underestimate myself, that's eight and a half. Having a really good day today, guys. I've had one about five pound, one 13 pound and four ounce rainbow, and one which I thought was uh, about six pound actually turned out to be eight and a half pound. Um, just gone and got my Orvis Helios 3, which is five weight. I'm gonna go with some little nymphs um, because the big stuff they're really not chasing now. I'm gonna sit here, have my Coke, salt and vinegar squares, me orange rehydrate get some energy and uh, I'm gonna have a little play around and see if I can get myself another big trout but uh, all in all this is one of the best days I've had at Diva Springs yet I've uh, really enjoyed it so far I'm glad I got it on film and uh, yep let's see you guys out there I crushed the barb and this doll back and I'm gonna have a little go for some grayling in the river see at this time of year the water's very low so this might be a There's a little brown there across there. Oh, oh, got one. I've got one. Got a brownie in a river. How awesome is that? Awesome is that. Oh yes. Oh I've left my bleeding net. I've got one. Brownie in a river. Right, so this is catch and release. Wow, well impressed. Okay, so what I need to do is to, by walking around here, and I'll just get my forceps on the go. Ooh. There we go. There we go. Can't believe I left my net. What oh, a stupid idiot. Okay. There we go. Oh, that was magical, guys. I, I can't believe I left my net. What a stupid thing to do, but the fish was released. Right, got one off on the river. I never thought I'd do that at Diva Springs. Right. Right, so we've gone past lunchtime and uh, the sun is at its highest. You can see a lot of the fish. Water's lovely and clear here in spring. Oh. A lovely big trout there. 
bloody massive thing. stalking damsel I need to make sure I put my knot on properly oh bloody hell that's quick that's a lovely take oh there we go very nice. So I just taken off my hat to make sure I'm recording. I had a couple of goes there for some of the big browns, but they just didn't seem interested. So I put on my stalking daddy long legs and uh, Sailor V, he wanted that. That's a reasonably sized fish there too. Oi, hello. I'm stalking daddy long legs from Sid Knight are absolutely deadly. That's another nice fish. I've definitely got over the average size here at Diva today. The average stocking size is normally four to five, and I think I've definitely pretty much been over. Oh, bloody hell, look at him shake. He is shaking. <sighs> These fish have been on roids today, they really have scrapped well. Um, I don't know where they get their, uh, where they actually get the stock from, but these fish have really given me the runabout when I've hooked them. Oh. Very nice, very nice. So much. I've had such a good day, guys. I've really had a great day. Another big fish there following him. Very pretty rainbow. Look at that. Oh, easy tiger. Right in the weeds on the five weight. Oh, it's so much more fun playing a fish on a five weight than it's a seven weight. Um, I could have literally stayed here till closing time. Um, yeah, I think he's ready. Hunting those big browns, but sometimes you have to know. Look at that, right there. I mean, that's, that's another good fish. Whoa. I think that's another bloody seven pound. I think that's another bloody eight pounder, guys. So, what's this one gonna go? Oh. Got to be about six or seven. Slightly smaller than my last one, I think. Let's give me a go. Bloody hell, another one. It's under. It's under nine. Oh. Hello guys, here's the flies, the stalking bugs which have done all the damage today. Martin Williams, in my opinion, is the best fly tie for stalking. Um, always ties with tungstens to get that really fast. On the right hand side you see a nice redhead uh, tungsten natural damsel. In the middle, an absolutely dead black daddy long legs with bright coloured tungsten beads. They have been absolutely killing it for me recently. I had so many big fish on that one in the middle. And on the left there, you've got the when all else fails, which when it gets hard or the fish have seen a lot of flies, a lot of the time you can, you know, kind of get a take from a fish that's refused many big, bigger offerings. So there you have it, guys. Martin Williams, get on his website. You can order the same flies that I hey Guys, what a great day sport at Diva Springs here today. Um, one fish just over 13 pound and one fish at eight and a half, one just under nine and one around the five or six mark. What an absolutely awesome day sport. Each of them fought like stink. Really, really great fish. Peter Cockrell was a really friendly guy. Absolute legend. He's here at Diva Springs. I've chat with him too. What an absolutely awesome day sport. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. So, uh, 
big thumbs up to Diva Springs in Hampshire. Probably the place to come for big fish. All right, guys, take it easy. Very big plums. Sorry.